Alright, I'm just gonna pull this out. You can hear it, like, typically a disc, you know, doesn't really make a noise when you pull it out. But anyway, let's pull this out. Uh -oh. This is gonna be hard to show, <coughs> so I'll just bear with me. See if I can find the right angle here. But oh, gee, yeah, this is like all. It, I mean, it's it's sand. I, I don't know what else really to. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know I can... Oop, let me zoom out. There we go. Maybe you can see that. But it's like just totally speckled, like all the way on top of the scratch abrasions, probably from pulling it out of the caddy. <clears throat> I mean, it's even in there so bad that even the little dust strips, you know, didn't even move them. Or if it did, it's what scratched it. I really wish I could show. Um, some of them are loose particles, some of them are stuck in there. I, there's really no point in trying to brush the disc, but... I mean, it's pretty trash. The other side... Um, there you go. See, I don't know if you can see all that, but that's from being inside of the caddy, probably vibrating around in the delivery truck or whatever. I'm trying to show you all this the best angle that I can. There we go. There's a good one right there. I mean, you know, they don't even cost, you know, that much, but considering that, you know, it's shipped in a box, you'd think that they would just mark it that it's fragile or even that it's a record. I mean, because it basically is. It's just a lot more sensitive damage. And it, even in a plastic caddy, it can easily get ruined. I don't know. I'm hoping that this all comes out. But...